Welcome, Cider Explorers! My name is Edward Gibbons Brown, and I live inside of your cider can. Living inside of a cider can is mostly not so bad. It's cozy, quiet, and you never have to regrout the tile, but there are some drawbacks too. For example, the Wi Fi's not great. Earlier this week, I couldn't get onto Facebook. Wait, that was everywhere? For six hours? Instagram too? How do they expect us to remember each other's birthdays? When the brave new world seems to be going insane, there's only one choice, make a cider cocktail. Good thing this little corner of the internet's still working or I don't know what we'd do. All right, grab your insta Facegram book and let's get started. Here we go. come up with drinks for these videos, I tend to be drawn to ciders like this one from the Book of Nomad series. The complex cocktail-inspired flavor profiles are a lot of fun to riff on, and they stand up well to the addition of other ingredients. But this month, I wanted to try something a little different. Native French Vacation. This is not one of these more intricate cocktail-style ciders, but it is really unique and very beautiful. Made with apples from the Hudson Valley and France, this spontaneous cider is like a spontaneous vacation to the French Normandy cider region. Aged in oak for 10 months, this co-fermented melange of wild fermented cider represents a unique pairing between Hudson Valley terroir on holiday in a classic French tradition. Anyway, it's really delicious, so I wanted to see if I could come up with a cocktail that would accentuate this cider without overpowering it and still allowing it to shine through. I call this cocktail the Old World. I'll be making this in the style of an Old Fashioned, which is a cocktail which, when made well, is all about complimenting the base. You look very good today. Oh well, merci, oui oui, à la vache, melon rouge, croissant. We're gonna choose ingredients to highlight certain flavor components of this cider while still leaving room for that funky barnyard personality to take center stage. Let's start with two dashes of Angostura bitters directly into a double rocks glass. This is gonna underscore some of the clove and nutmeg wood spice flavors imparted by aging oak. Follow that with one teaspoon of toasted coconut syrup. Coconut is another one of those flavors imparted by the barrel. I'm using Liber & Co. syrup, and I recommend it. It's one of the best you can get if you don't wanna just make it yourself. Next, three quarters of an ounce or one and a half tablespoons of Novo Fogo barrel-aged cachaça. Cachaça is a Brazilian spirit made from fermented sugarcane juice, very similar to rum, which is also made from sugarcane, but the difference is that a lot of rums are made from molasses, which you get from refining the sugarcane. There are exceptions, like rum agricole, but another distinction is that cachaça is location-specific. Much like a narco-fugitive, it can only be made in Brazil. This one is aged for two to three years in bourbon barrels made of, you guessed it, oak. This lends the cachaça a cinnamon spiciness and heavy vanilla note with banana bread overtones that should play beautifully with the apples. And finally, we'll finish this with two and a half ounces or five tablespoons of native French vacation. Ice. And I'm garnishing this with an orange twist. And a cherry, which I've soaked in apple brandy. And there you have it, the old world. Cheers, Cider Explorers.